Hey guys, today I get to tour the Bura Academy of Science and Technology. If you haven't heard about it yet, keep watching. We get to meet all the students today, see this amazing boarding school campus. I've also heard a lot about their farms, so I'm pretty excited to go check that out. I think a lot of people uh, know nothing about Bura Academy. If you are watching this video, please uh, visit us, come back to Somalia, and there's a lot of amazing things, special things that are going on here in Bura. Uh, like our school, we have everything here. And I can compare our school in, in other schools in the U.S., maybe in U.K. and everywhere. We, we are doing a lot of things to her. We are putting every effort to, to make sure that uh, our community gets the quality education they deserve. And please join us. This is the beautiful masjid as soon as you walk in. Mashallah. So you mentioned that the curriculum is still by the Somaliland standard. So English, math, science, computers, those are American. Okay. And then Somali, Arabic, Islamic, and social studies, mm -hmm. those are Somali land. So we follow Somali land curriculum uh, when it comes to those subjects. Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So this is the high school hall. There's another tech hall there. And there's English being done in here, social studies in here. Another, must be math all the way over there. So this is for the high school and then the middle school section is over there. It's so cozy in here, I really like it. Assalamu alaikum. What's your name? Ugbad. Sam Samia, nice to meet you. I'm from Canada. Canada? Yeah. And you are in Burra now? Yeah, I'm in Burra for two days, but I'm in Hargisa for two years. Two years? Yeah. And Uh No, no, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Samia. But I show an accent, Ugbad. It doesn't feel like a school, it just feels like a really nice like community neighborhood. That's what it feels like. Jackie takes classes. She takes classes. She does, but sometimes she's a teacher. <laughs> Head to the science lab. This is the science lab. This is science lab. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So many supplies, actually. All the tools are here. Okay. And then they normally do the experiments in here. Okay. Yeah. She's really with us, guys. <laughs> So now we've entered the middle school. There's up to eight classrooms. They're writing an exam. They're listening and answering. Oh, okay, listening and speaking class. Brilliant. That way the accents are perfected and everyone's hearing the same English. Hardware lab? Very cool. Wow. Just taking things apart, putting them back together. Actually, all the problems that the school has, it's fixed in here. That are related to technology. So all your tech problems are solved right here. That's incredible. Self-sufficiency. I can't even fix my own internet problems and they're here taking computers apart, putting them back together. This is literally someone's laptop. And they do often create websites and things like that. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. They actually do Cisco now, even wow. though they are in ninth grade. And they learn Python, they have websites. Um, Cisco is very advanced stuff. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know what a Cisco is, so they're like way ahead of me. So we normally start with Cisco. Uh -huh. Then by the time they are 12th grade mm -hmm. or 11th grade, yeah. they can choose to do Cisco uh -huh. or uh, software engineering, basically like coding, Python, things like that. Yeah. Um, but then in the morning we teach Cisco and afternoon we teach coding. So this is the middle school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right there is their dorms. So clean. How many per room? Four is maximum. That's nice. That's comfortable. And then the washroom. Good. All the high school boys stay right here. That's like such close access to school. Imagine. Really nice, comfortable environment. You literally can't be late for school. Those are the advantages of boarding school, to be honest. Like you're on campus, you're dedicated to school. Students are making websites, talking about Cisco's and things that I have no idea about in grade nine. That's something to be proud of. Anyway, let's continue to see what else we got going on here. So we're going into the teacher's quarter now. They have a bit more of a walk to get to class. <laughs> the students was way closer. Oh, the teachers have a gym? Yeah. Oh wow, it's so big, it's like top notch. This is cool. So this is the teacher's quarters. Come on, what a nice environment. Hi. 
<laughs> it's me, guys. What do you have for breakfast? Um, this is lahol. Looking for the word in Somali. Kaloon. <laughs> nice. Enjoy. Hello. Hello. Nice hello. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oliver from Kenya. Yeah. I'm kind of a guy who likes adventures. And my thinking was I need to go to Ethiopia, right? But this thing came up. So I saw an ad. So I said, okay, let me go try. Let me see how it is. So here I am. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is a place to be. The guys are friendly. The kids are good. It's a, it's a welcoming environment. It's so smooth, like it's smooth. I mean, if you're looking for like a sweet life kind of family, join us. The kitchen is the hot spot, definitely. We're getting all the interesting interesting chats in here. See you, Oliver. It's nice to meet you. My name is Abdiel. Abdiel. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Indonesia. No way. Seriously. Were you watching the vlogs in Indonesia? Before I came here, yeah. I watched some of your vlogs. Okay. So it kind of told me like, how is it going here? So I know that, okay, it's safe to go here. Okay, wow, that's wow. <laughs> I'm glad that helped you. How long have you been here now? I came here in March, so eight months. Okay, as um, a teacher or a volunteer? Teacher, Okay. I'm volunteering teacher. Oh, you're volunteering? Yeah. Okay, so you just willingly chose Somaliland on the map to teach. Yeah, so my friend kind of told me there's an opportunity here. Okay. And the opportunity was to be a, a writer. And I had writing skills, so I thought, okay, why not? And then when I... Uh, when I was interviewed, and it turns out that there's a need for teacher. Okay. So why not? Oh, wow. Let's try. That is so it's, nice. It's a new experience for me. And you're liking it so far? I'm liking it so far. Good. It's really satisfying to see them learn, to see them acquire new skills. I'm really inspired. Nice. Love to hear that. But if you're considering to come to Somaliland to teach, to teach, it's really great because the need is really huge here. And then the students, like, they are also growing. They're also curious. Many students are curious to learn new things, learn your perspective. So no matter how much time you have, like one week or one month, just try to volunteer. You can come here, it's safe and it's enjoyable with the weather. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, but you will enjoy it here. So glad to hear that. And very nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. <laughs> cool. Get a little room tour here. Oh, wow. It's actually a lot bigger than what I could see from outside. Very nice. Nice bathroom, garden view. Thanks for letting me in. <laughs> I always feel so personal when I go into people's sleeping areas. Were you always a teacher in, in the UK? Yeah, I was in the UK teaching uh, 10 years. I was there 10 years teaching. Uh, but I, I lived there 26 years. First time I came here was 2018 wow. to visit. Everybody here in the school, the academy, they work together. The management, the teachers, the students. We're all like a big family, to be honest. There's a lot of reasons why you should come here. Everybody wants to come and move to their own country. It will take uh, a year to get used to it. I've been here in Somaliland for three years now and I love it. I love it, really. And I would advise anybody living and abroad to just come and contribute to your country. You know, whatever you, you have knowledge or skills that you have, your country needs you. Uh, you also need your country as well. There's not many challenges when you see schools like here, like uh, Broad Academy. It's almost like teaching in the UK, to be honest, because the kids here treat them like, like how the Western countries follow all of these uh, procedures, child protection and a lot of code of conduct. It's all about interactions. So at the beginning, yeah, I didn't know how to interact with them because uh, I was from, you know, different uh, environment. But uh, I, I, got, I got used to it, and it's not something difficult to, to get used to it. Thanks, you gave us a lot of insight. We're happy to hear that. MashaAllah, look at that. Kosar came through, MashaAllah. If this is the in-house cook life, oh, I'm here. I'm here every day. That being said, they would love to have more teachers here. So if you're in the area of Bur'a or considering doing any kind of volunteering, stop by, get some information. You never know what can come about. And if you want more, check the link below where you can contact them directly and see what you can do. I feel like we were in here forever just hanging out. <laughs> it's so nice. Okay, we'll go chat with some students now. Assalamu alaikum. Your name? Nora. Nora. Where are you from, Nora? From Kidney. Cool. And you're studying here? Yeah. What grade are you in now? Grade 10. And you like it? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Burao Academy? Very nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name? Samaka. Nice to meet you. You've been here since the beginning? Yeah, grade 7. And now? Grade 9. Very cool. Yeah. What's your favorite subject? Math. Okay. Why math? 
It's complicated, but I like how you have to solve things. I like puzzles. Zero, what, what do you do outside of classroom? Like, you have sport, you play sport. Yeah, and... Rangers Club is a club where you learn self defense <laughs> and how to take And if, if you get an injury, how to take care of it. All right, thank you for your time. Anything. If you see me again, don't feel shy. All right, done. This guy in the hallway. Assalamu alaikum. Alexa, tell us good. My name is Ishmael. I'm um, 12th grade, and uh, I have been here since my seventh grade. I would like to be a petroleum, so my favorite subject is math. It's kind of hard, but yeah, I, I really like it. I'm a part of the student government in Bora Academy. Very cool. Yeah. Tell me about student government. What's that? Um, we, in, in our Bora Academy school, we have student government, and we kind of like in between the student and the and administration. So we represent students, help them. The problems that they suggest that we should talk to the admin, and um, we kind of, you know, solve it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you? Massage is getting built real soon. So the first floor mm -hmm. is the boys. Okay. The boys will be here. Yeah. And then the girls will be in the second floor. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. The capacity is about 500 people. Oh, okay. That's a lot. Yeah, that's Good. Nice. So it's not just a masjid, it's the Islamic center. So there'll be offices and madrasa classes going on up there, inshallah, as soon as it's done. Had the, they still do Islamic studies? They do Islamic classes in the classrooms. I see. Yeah. Uh, my name is Idris Mohamed Yusuf. I graduated from Bra Academy of Science and Technology this year in June. After graduation, I have to, to take a gap year uh, to get back to campus and give back to the community. Now, I'm the instructor of the first cybersecurity club here at Bra Academy. Also, I help 10th and 11th graders with their tech classes. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Graduated this year on June 2nd. Okay, mashallah. So you, but you were here since 7? Yeah, okay. from the beginning. Okay. I was one of the first students who came here. Wow, mashallah. You still love it here, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I've been here for like last six years of my life, so it's like kind of home. Yeah. <laughs> See, the girls' area is actually closed off. Oh, they have their own small soccer area. I love it. Then they don't have to be like fully covered up and enjoy the freedom. How about Sama? Okay, so actually, two of the people we spoke with, they are graduates here and they're doing their community college year, which means that they can give back to the students and teach. And at the same time, they get resources to do their applications and wait for their acceptances. And they're giving back to the place that made them who they are. Yeah. This is the cafeteria hall. Smells delicious. They're turning to the height. Well, I. MashaAllah. They've grown their own vegetables too for the school lunches. MashaAllah. I okay, can't wait to get to the garden now. Best thing I think I've heard. I mean, I heard a lot of good things so far on this tour, but it's off grid. It's all run by solar energy. That is the ultimate, ultimate factor for sustainability. And they got it going on here. MashaAllah. Allahu Barakayyabur Academy. So they just hired a resident farmer. He'll be starting real soon, but so far so good. They got this greenhouse set up and I can see a whole field over there of greens. Do the students come out and farm too? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's part of their like afternoon activities. Agriculture club, love that. So I see green pepper, pepper, kale and a whole field of tomatoes mashallah as soon as that greenhouse gets going too it's gonna just be direct oh they even framed them oh, i love this okay we got a lot of real good artists in here so do you know why they do that because they say we have less female in here oh <laughs> i realize you're one of the only females i've come across at the campus yeah would you say that's one of the challenges so far Yes, 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 it is. The guys, the boys are really thriving and they're way ahead of the girls. And so I feel having more women would be of great use to inspire them, to make them see that it's possible. More women would help them see that there's so much more, there's, there's so much more that they can do because they're talented, they're gifted, they're really um, very special women. And we see them, we see that every day in competitions with boys and classes and what they're able to come up with. Uh, we talked about the art competition and 
they did such a fantastic job and I know that this can only get better you know when they have other women to to look up to we're really grateful that even you being here is quite an inspiration for them we need more people to come back here help us bring a positive change here because the students will look up to us and we need to bring change here. I hope you guys like this video and please do your part. Show people the beauty of Somaliland. And if you need any extra information, check the links below for email addresses of who to contact if you want more details about this beautiful, beautiful institution. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. So we've just entered the girls' quarter and we're gonna have a little chat with some of the girls, particularly some girls from an orphanage, which if you didn't already know, but our academy really models itself on a give back initiative. So 30 students from Buddha Academy are actually from an orphanage and they pass the exams to make it into the school and they're fully funded until they graduate, which we'll go visit tomorrow. I'll tell you more about it, but for now, I'm looking forward to this part. <laughs> I'm getting interviewed with my Somali skills here. Did I pass? I <laughs> but Skirian, she's testing us. Hi, <laughs> bye guys. See you. See you. I'll see you online. What an experience.